We all deal with interruptions differently. Notifications in Slack help you stay focused on the things that matter to you, instead of distracting you from getting work done. There are a lot of ways to customize your notifications so that you can concentrate on your work without missing anything important. By default, you'll always get an alert when someone mentions your Slack username, you get a direct message, or someone uses one of your designated highlight words. But you can try out what works for you and set different preferences for individual channels and conversations by changing your notification preferences from the team menu. Use highlight words to give you a nudge when someone mentions a word or phrase you want to stay on top of. It could be a project you're working on, a client you're following, or something fun like the name of your favorite food truck, so you know when someone's making a run. It can also be your name, in case someone mentions you without tagging your username. As your team grows, you'll probably find yourself in more and more channels, but you don't have to keep up with them equally. Star channels that cover the topics most important to you to bump them to the top of your channel list. You can also adjust notification settings for individual channels by clicking the drop-down arrow next to the channel name. If there's a project you're following closely, adjust your settings so you get notifications for all activity in that channel. At the same time, if you don't always need to know when someone posts a picture in cats, you can mute all notifications for that channel so that it doesn't even turn bold when there's unread activity. Then you can binge on cat pics over the weekend. Slack notifications are also sent to your mobile phone, but don't worry about alerts coming at you from all sides. If you've read a notification on your desktop, Slack won't push it to your phone unless your preferences tell it to. If you're an Inbox Zero fan who likes to clear your unread messages quickly, go to the Advanced Options section of your preferences and set your channel list to show only the channels and direct messages that are starred or have unread activity, and hide the rest. Also, don't be shy about leaving channels when they're not relevant to you to help you stay focused on the ones that are. You can always rejoin at any time. Notifications in Slack also won't be offended if you want them to go away for a little while. Turn on Do Not Disturb mode to turn off all notifications when you're away, whether it's for a few hours or just a few minutes. Meanwhile, everyone else online, say teammates in another time zone, can continue to send you messages without worrying about bothering you. Don't worry, your notifications will still be waiting for you when you come back. Finally, if you're out or traveling, you don't need to rely on an email auto-reply. Let people know by editing your name in your profile. You can show that you're working from home, taking PTO, or at home with a sick kid. Emoji can help with this too. Then come back and focus on the important stuff.